I didn't think coding could get easier than it already is, but Cloud Release 3.7 Sonnet Thinking Mode plus a new coding agent. And not only is coding easier, but front end design is cleaner and better and faster. So I wanted to show you guys how to set up the Cloud Code agent. It's really simple. If you go to the documentation for Cloud Code, which I'll put in the bio. All you have to do is copy their NPM install code, open up your terminal, write into your terminal. And once the package is installed, go to any developer folder you already have. I'm going to use the current code base I'm working on as an example. And then you just type in the word cloud. It's going to open cloud code research preview and ask you for authentication. Go ahead and authenticate. Once you're actually here, this entire interface is just talking to a cloud instance in the terminal. You could type slash help. And if you type slash init, what happens is Claude will scrape your entire code base and then make its own instruction file to itself, kind of writing out what your code base is, good development styles, the architecture for it, everything you need. I document my code, so it already went through and wrote very deep, it already went through and read all the docs, understood the gist of what it needs to do, and wrote this for itself, which I guess was the most important thing. And from here, if I wanted to make any insane changes to my code base, let's go to my code base real quick. The file image gen module looks little. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, I need and make this module a lot better, please. So it's almost funny. So when you write in the instructions that you want and you're in the code base, write in your instructions, write in your prompt, hit enter. And the cloud agent is then going to go act very similarly to the cursor agent where it goes and reads the relevant file paths it thinks it needs to read, talk to itself and walk through how to modify your code. Best part is I could keep that on the side. So I want a new module for my app as well. So I'm going to open up a new terminal instance and then I am going to navigate back to the same folder, CD go scratch, Claude. And this time I actually have a localhost server that scrapes Twitter news for me. So I want this Twitter news nicely formatted into my dashboard. So I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to tell the coder agent saying, I want a new module called the news module. So I want a new module called news that takes the API call from this link. And I'm gonna paste my link in. And remember context and examples is very, very important. So I'm just gonna grab like a, a nice solid chunk of what the first summary scraper looks like. Since I wanna paste in large amounts of text and that's gonna be kind of aids if I do it in a terminal, I'm gonna go into my code base that Claude is already in. I'm gonna create a new file and documentation called example news API. Paste this in and then I'm going to tell Claude that I'll return a list that looks like the output in docs slash example news api.md. So I'm gonna tell him to look at a file for the reference to look at the mass copied code that was recommended in the doc. So let's try that. And I think that's pretty much it. I'm just, I gave it the info it needed. I want a new module called news. I want, here's the scraper link, uh, open the file. Oh, so it opened the news file pretty instantly. So I was able to read the file path because we directed it, read it fine. That's really cool. And then it should make a clean, sleek interface. So while that's loading, we're gonna go back to the other coder agent that's doing work for us in the code base right now. And he made some edits and it looks good. So I'm gonna say yes. And honestly, I like yelling my code. So I'm gonna ask him to don't ask me for permission, bro. Just be a free little AI agent and do whatever you want. As long as you don't have these two agents working on the same files. In this case, he's working on the news module and this guy is working on like my image module. So while they're still both working on modules, they're both working in individual modules. So it should be no big deal. 
so he has edits so he already has the new summaries that he wants to make so we're gonna let him run through that and it looks like with the new terminal claude also decides to let like let them decide when to think so i really like claude's new approach with their deep reasoning model where instead of having a model that does deep reasoning they use the same model and just let that model have a trigger to deep reason which is brilliant it's so simple but it makes such a good model and it's so so easy to work with i really like the way it thinks so the way that my module manager is set up is that it automatically loads in new modules and in claude's case he was like we need to update the module manager to import a new module let's check the module manager file first and then he reads the code and realizes, oh, it's automatic. So we don't need to update it since our new module will be automatically loaded. Yeah, if we now check our dashboard, we now have a news module. And we could see that it loads in the latest news summaries from the API call, which is very cool. However, I want these to be a lot nicer. I'm going to say, give me a module I look forward to. I'm literally just vibe coding. I'm just talking with my voice. Uh, on the other side, the file image module has been completely redesigned with a more modern and aesthetically pleasing interface. Let's check it out. Wow. So this is good, but there's some errors. So if we test this, if we like uh, gen an image of a rubber duck <clears throat> and generate the module, it seems like it's going to work. I'm going to say this. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. So we got our file image gen module. Oh, we could click on it. We could download it. This is really, really neat. I'm just going to say this looks really good. Set the settings. I can't scroll so it renders out of frame. Please ensure this is all good. This is how you vibe code. You literally just iterate back and forth, back and forth, complimenting what the agent did right and explaining what you dislike about the code. It's very important to do both. You want to compliment what the agent did right so the agent understands to not change what you like and you have to explain what you don't like and what you prefer instead so the agent could focus all its efforts on okay the user didn't like how i did this i'm going to change it to fit their preferences otherwise if you just say oh i don't like it try again then it's gonna undo some changes you might not want to do whoa this looks sick is he still working okay he's still working a bit but it already looks interesting and we could already see the different sources he links uh, we could even bookmark news, <laughs> which is interesting. In the meantime, while those two coder agents are doing something, I'm going to vibe code in the dashboard uh, because I want to tell. So I'm going to add my dashboard.css. I'm going to add my index.ts for the dashboard. I'm going to screenshot this, and then I'm just going to say... Uh, the AI assistant chat box on the Y axis. Just to see if we got work on our agents. So both are done. If we go back and check our news module. Wow. Wow. Okay. So we got our news, our hourly news looking good. I might like go and buy code and be like, okay, this looks good. Uh, markdown rendering isn't working on dropdown. Also, the most recent news summary should automatically be dropped down. In terms of getting our hourly news summary, look at that. Notable news of the hour. Cloud 3.7 Sonnet released. I think this news is pretty interesting. I'm going to bookmark it. We check our bookmarks and we can see our bookmarked news. Cool. We'll have to we'll have to work on the actual sorting of that, but it gave us very good template feeds on what's going on. This was all done just vibe coding. Oh, he, look, we got some dashboard changes. What dashboard changes did we get? And we got a cleaner app center with basically what I asked for. And I'll probably iterate and play with this back and forth. But he fixed the chat here. He made the levels look cleaner, and he made the app center uh, Y vertical access look better. And yeah. Also, I wanted to show you guys. So this is the this is the before and after. This is one hour. All of this was done in one hour vibe coding session. This was my original ghost module that I had in place. I had everything set here. So I had all these different modules. I had the dashboard. I had the chat bot looking kind of rough. I had the journal. 
I had the file image gen module. I had my idea whiteboard. I had my to-do list. I had my network. And Jesus Christ, worst of all, I had my settings and my setting management. And post a vibe coding session using the exact same workflow I just showed you guys there with the news module and the image gen module is this is the new dashboard. This is the new chat bot, all fixed up, all nice looking. This is the new journal, which I think is fantastic. This like blew my mind when you made it. This is sexy, very sexy. Like even gave me like a way to like analyze it and shit. Oh, the way it just oh, it's so clean. Then we got the file image gen module. If you run a gen something, would look great. We got a new idea board that's cleaned up, does works more. A better to-do list that looks great. We can sort by pending and completed. We got the news feed module that is now active and working. And we have a network tab. And we have a network tab where we could add all the people we meet. And finally, the remake of the settings module that allows us to manage the modules and allows us to get individual settings of every single module. Oops, that allows us to get every single setting of the different modules that go in. All of this done in one hour was pretty crazy. I just had six autonomous agents doing work on each individual module. But you could, kind of, you, you could see how, how insane this is getting, especially as the models get better and better at coding. And, holy f and Cloud 3.7 Sonnet is the best coder that exists out there, without a doubt. Cloud has always been a great model. I'm so excited that they have a new one.